Welcome back to another episode of Our Community. Welcome. And I'm sitting here with today's guest from Retro Jake's, Jacob Payne. Welcome, Jacob. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Hey, thanks for being here. Jacob, it's a pleasure. What, what's going on in your world? Wow. So it's Christmas time right now, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty hectic right now. Um, keeping up with machines. Uh, we're opening up a cafe in the arcade to serve our customers. Um, there's a lot going on. It's kind of nonstop. So. How does stuff like that come together? You just you put, want to put a cafe in the in the arcade. So essentially, you know, <clears throat> what we're here to bring is is an experience. You know, uh, mm-hmm. for the longest time, I've said, you know, we have to bring uh, an experience um, to Richmond, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a big thing. You know, with the game store, that's great. With the arcade, uh, was the start of a better experience. And the cafe is just to add to the experience. So. Okay, I, I had the opportunity to connect <clears throat> with you last week at your store, and uh, I was blown away. Uh, just the, the merchandise, uh, the, the different, uh, uh, you know, uh, lines of products, then the arcade side, and then now you're adding the cafe. T- tell me about you. Like, where does this all come from? You know, um, <clears throat> I've always wanted, you know, to do something to make a difference. You know, um, I think um, in business, I feel like if you're if you're not growing, you're dying. Um, and it's just a con. I gotta try to find ways to constantly be better. Um, it's kind of an obsession, you okay. know, with me is how how can I be better? How can we do things better? Um, and that's I'd say that's a good trait and a bad trait at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd say it, it's it's got me to where you know we are right now um, with the expansion and. Um, doing things um, outside of the box that I'm not used to. I feel like you don't grow in your comfort zone. Um, and when you're out of your comfort zone, you're doing stuff that you haven't done before mm-hmm. and you're succeeding, that's that's growth. Absolutely. And that, that, that's what I think has been the biggest thing for me is just stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing things. I'm like, you know what? Never done this before. We're going to do it. Yeah. And we're going we're gonna to see how it works, you <laughs> yeah. know? So yeah. what'd you do before? <laughs> oh, man. So uh, I... I bounced around from a lot of jobs, you know, it was, it was hard for me for a lot of reasons. You know, I have, I have a problem with my leg. I had bone cancer whenever I was 15 years old. Um, so, um, everything's good. Um, I've been cancer free for the last 10 years. So yeah, heck yeah. I've been good there. Um, so I, I bounced around from a lot of jobs, um, for a lot of reasons. And, uh, yeah, so I, I did a lot of factory, a lot, a little bit of fast food, uh, you know, just a little bit of everything you name it. I probably did it. So. What, what now? Now I'm really passionate about this part. What? So what changed with you? Does that make that shift? That hey, I wanna, I wanna be an entrepreneur. I wanna open my own store. I mean, what was that? What, what, what made the light bulb go off? Um, I'm gonna say, you know, my, my son. When my son was born, it, mm-hmm. ju- it didn't, it wasn't about me anymore. Um, something clicked to where it was like, hey, you know, I'm not just providing for me. I'm providing for this for this child that needs me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would say that's what kind of got me out of um, where I was and kind of made things go, okay, well, let's do it. It's not about me anymore. I have a, I have a child that looks, it's going to be looking up to me and is going to be watching me doing what I'm doing. And I have to set an example. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I would I would definitely say uh, when my son was born, that, that's what did it. Now, you, okay. So you made a decision that you were going to go into business for yourself. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me, like, I look at other people and some of the mentors I have and people I watch and even my personal experience, there's a lot of sacrifice, determination involved in wanting to step out and be a business owner. I, I had a lot of fear. Yeah. So there was just some steps you had to take, I'm sure, like money, yep. you know, um, business planning. I mean, what steps did you take to get yourself, once you realize what you want to do, to get to where you are today? A lot of sacrifices. There's a mm-hmm. lot of sacrifices that – um that people don't know. People just want to see the outside of like, oh, well, he just did this because of that. That yeah. store is only, you know, booming because of this. And yeah. it's it, it may be that has played a part. But, you know, there was a time and there was – I don't tell a lot of people this, but it, I'll tell it. Uh, there was a time, you know, I was – my son was two years old and I was living on my own mm-hmm. um, with my son. And the store wasn't doing too hot. This was back in 2018. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I remember, um, I was pulling money from the store and I knew 
I was pulling too much money from mm -hmm. the store. And I know mm -hmm. I was like, man, I can only do this for so long until yeah. this is going to become an issue. Mm -hmm. And I had to make the decision. Do I, do I put ourselves out of a home or do I, you know, keep this dream going mm -hmm. to where I know it could be. And I chose, I chose the dream, you yeah. know, and that's something that, you know, you know, we were okay. And we, we, you know, we, we, we went to, you know, a place, you know, to where we were, we were good, but you know, I chose, I chose the dream and my future over <clears throat> a warm home. Yeah. And that's, those are the kind of sacrifices that like people don't know mm -hmm. about being successful. Right. And they just want to say, you know, sometimes like, Oh, it's only because of this and because of that. Um, that's a sacrifice that I'm not mm -hmm. so sure that a lot of people would make. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And what you're going through there and we're, I'm going to take a, take just a second more on this and I yeah. want to get to know you a little bit better, but so what, um, steps did you take? I mean, because you were kind of just say struggling there. You were like, mm -hmm. like most new businesses, you've got to go through that to get to where you're going. Right. Yeah. And you learn from that. So what, did you do like where'd the money come from? Like, what did you do for your business to to take off in the direction that you wanted to to get you where you are now? What I would say of? a lot of risk. Uh, you uh -huh. know, you got to take. I, I'm a big believer on taking risks. Okay. You know? um, I would say a, a, a lot of more sacrifices. So mm -hmm. a lot of risks I took. You know, um, I was in the Richmond Bargain Center, um, 2017, October 1st of 2017, yeah. to uh, I, uh, August of this year of 2023. And, uh, I would say from that 2017 to 2000, beginning of 2020 mm -hmm. was the years that I was like, man, I just don't know. It was, so I would say one thing I did is we were, we were hitting low sales, the lowest sales that <clears throat> I could even, the lowest sales we've ever had, <clears throat> excuse me. And I knew that there was a bigger spot that could have came available for me to where I could do more of what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I was going to be locked into a year, um, contract with that. I ended up moving the store. And once I moved the store, that is when it blew up. It was so the it was risk location, of location. Wow. you know, um, I was kind of tucked in a little area back, you know, in the back of that store. And then I was yeah. like, Hey, I could go down the main aisle right at the end and have this huge store. Um, but I'm also taking a risk because if it still doesn't work, I am, I am screwed, and, you know, <laughs> so, and, and more overhead, yeah. more overhead, yeah. which was scary, especially yeah. when you could barely even pay the overhead you had, yeah. you know? So it was, it was those kind of risks, you know, that I'd say is what's, did you have any reservations with, cause you've got your clientele base at the bargain center yeah. and then shifting gears. Did you have any reservations? Like me, I, I switched over to, uh, you know, a business email rather than my personal email uh, about a, a month ago. And I've gone back and forth over that for like four years uh, being in business. And I finally, I'm glad I did it, but it was just, man, all my customers that know me, my clients, my friends is making that shift. Yeah. So you moved locations, like physical locations. So, so how'd you, I stayed like in when, it, when I was in the bargain, so I stayed in the same location. I just moved to a bigger spot in that okay. building. Okay. Um, but I mean, yeah, a little bit. I yeah. mean, I, I'm, I was a little bit more safe, you know, like we just moved to the depot district. Well, that's here. what I mean. Like even now, oh, like the yeah. depot, when you yeah. went there to, to the depot district. Yeah. So it's scary. You yeah. know, it's almost like you have to somewhat start over. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's a lot of, that's a lot of stress. You know, it's like, Hey, I'm going to a new spot. Yeah. I'm going to keep my, a lot of my regulars, but there's going to be some regulars that aren't going to be coming down there for whatever reason. They can't, they don't want to, they don't like the area. They, mm -hmm. there's something I might be next to somebody that yeah. they don't like, or, you know, who knows? Right. So yeah, that's really scary. Um, it's been a transition too. You know, mm -hmm. we've, there's a lot of people we've been promoting and word of mouth has been going around of, about us around here. And still, there's still people that we don't know. They'll walk into that bargain center and they're like, what is this? This isn't, yeah. this isn't retro Jake's. Yeah. Um, and they, they'll just go, Oh, okay. Well, guess they're not here anymore. So yeah. it's, it's our job to try to go, Hey, Hey, we're over here. We're over here. So that's been, that's been a challenge actually, believe it or not. So, been well, so I mean, I got to think, I mean, you, there's, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, happy for you and excited for your business. You know, the things we discussed down there, I'm just like, wow, you're doing great down there. How do you, how does, how do you make that work when you've got, I mean, there's a couple of arcades within, you know, half a mile radius of each other. You know, how do you make that? How do you make that work? I'm a firm believer in competition is going to make each other work harder and be better. Yeah. You know, um, I wanted to do an arcade for a long time. You yeah. know, it was, it was really, um, I had plans to do an arcade for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, with the actual arcade guy over there. Yeah. Um, and cool. whenever, 
whenever he started the arcade over there, I was like, man, that is one heck of an experience he's bringing. I have to, I have to compete with that. Uh-huh. Like if not, you know, okay. who knows? Yeah. So, um, that's when I decided like, you know what, I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just going to do it, you yeah. know? Um, <clears throat> so it's been hard. It's been, it's been, it's been one of them things to where, you know, you gotta, you gotta push yourself on how to be better. Yeah. What can I do that they're not doing and vice versa with them, you yeah. know? Um, so that, that's been a challenge, but I love it. You know, it's part of business. Right. Right. It's part of business. Yeah. Awesome. So, so where are you actually from? Are you from Richmond or where are you from? I'm from Cambridge city, Indiana. Okay. Okay. And you live there now or you live in, I, I live in Dublin, which is kind of the Cambridge city area. Okay. So. Okay. How, how long have you lived in, lived in our community? Pretty much my whole life, you know, um, went to school there, graduated from there. Okay. Um, pretty much my whole life. What, uh, what, so what motivated you to, to stay in this community? Um, I don't know, maybe just, uh, I'm probably going to say just, I've been there so long and, um, a lot of my family's from there and whatnot. So, um, if I ever moved, I probably wouldn't move to Richmond. You know, I do a lot of business here. I know a lot of people here and this is uh, a place, you know, I'm pretty familiar with, you know, I'm not moving into uncharted territory, you know, or I'm not knowing where right. I'm at, you know? So, um, but yeah, I, I, I bought a house down there um, a couple years ago. So okay. that's kind of where I'm at right now. Okay. All right. Just want to take a second to remind our, our, our audience out there to please click that like and subscribe button so I can keep bringing you this wonderful content. We're starting to take off. More and more people are asking me for it. And also, if you're thinking real estate, think Diamond Class Care, the Diamond Mine. All right. Jake, so the next segment here is kind of a little bit of a fun thing, okay? We got – it's kind of like the – might call it the Rose City, uh, hot and ready, cold and steady. Okay. okay. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to just bring up a couple <clears> – <throat> a few different uh, categories, and you tell me which one you prefer and, and why. Okay. So uh, I, I love pizza, man. What If you had to pick a pizza place – in our community, where are you going? Uh, a pizza place in our community. Um, I tell you what, I'm a big fan of Domino's. Domino's I like everything. I like Domino's. Um, I, I I I like Susie's. Susie's pizza is really good too. Yeah. Um, I've had it a few times. It's really good. It is. Um, a pizza place. What Shout else? Shout out Susie's. They're yeah. They're coming up. They're coming on the show here soon for sure. Yeah. Um, you know. I like all pizza. You know, it's, it's yeah. for me, it's yeah. really hard to, for me to eat a slice of pizza and go, that's not very good. And I, I love, I love pizza. So I'm going to, any, any pizza I've ever had, I've, I've never really disliked it around town. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm going to say Domino's and probably Susie's number two. Don't get me wrong. Domino's is, is a clutch, yeah. but I'm a little, how, how old are you? My 28. 28. So I'm, I'm significantly older than you. I'm 43, <laughs> but I remember uh, the original Domino's here and it, the, the taste was just, a whole nother level yeah. back then. So I'm a pizza kind of sore if you can't tell. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> uh, we've got several parks in the area. Which park? Which park would you would you uh, go have lunch or picnic or or hike if you had an t- opportunity? Where would you go? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, so there's. Forgive me. I am not a good. I don't know the names of the parks, but the one you know with the uh, the. the uh, pond out there i sit by Glenn the miller. pond glenn, glenn miller. miller there okay. we go all yeah right. i knew that i don't yeah. even know why <laughs> all right. That's all right. okay glenn miller park i'd have to say all right now um as far as like uh furthering your education things like that we haven't gotten to that yet but uh you know we think of you know this area we've got several universities here we got um earlham we got iu east uh we've got ivy tech what what's one of those would would uh come to mind right off the all right off the cuff which one do you think of iu east IU East, why? Um, well, um, they're doing a lot of stuff with the gaming community that I've seen. Um, I know Retro Rush over there is doing a lot of stuff with them. Um, and they're they're doing a lot of stuff, I think, for young adults to, um, you know, bring gaming to the community more. You know what I okay. mean? Make it, okay, back whenever I was <clears throat> in high school, mm-hmm. you gamed a lot. It wasn't good, you know. Schools didn't believe in, hey, you know, you, play, you can't just play video games for your career. Yeah. And that's kind of changed. It's changed. You know, yeah. like yeah. that's kind of changed. Yeah. So I, I like what they're doing. I don't think a lot – there's still some schools that aren't on board with that. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's good that they're doing that. And they're doing it at such a high level. So I think that's great. So did you – so that brings me to my next question. Where did you go after high school? Did you have the opportunity to go to college? Did you go to college? I actually did not go to college. Okay. I uh, – 
graduated high school. Uh, I didn't do anything for probably a year. Um, and then I, I got it, my first job at Arby's. Okay. And uh, I was, Arby's. I was fry. I was a fry guy, right? Where's the beef? I know. <laughs> so I was a fry guy. Funny story. I, uh, I always thought, this is me whenever I was 18, 19, so it's uh-huh. kind of funny to me now. Yeah. Um, I ended up, uh, was like, you know what? If I cook these an extra 15 seconds, they are so much better. And I would do it, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like I sat down by my boss and said, you're taking way too long at the fry station. We have to move you. And I was like, I don't understand what you're saying. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. So you're talking curly fries. right? Oh yeah, man. Okay. The, the holla, what was it? No, it was the mozzarella sticks, man. You put those in there an extra 15 seconds. They were, t- they were perfect. Yeah. They were perfect. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so if you had someone on the outside of our community looking in and they're, on, they're on the cusp of moving here and they're like, you know, where can I, what, what would be the perfect ideal date for in, in this area? If I was going to go on a first date, what would you recommend to someone coming in town? You know, oh, oh man, um, dinner activity. You know, that's a really good question. I never thought of that. Um, okay, so one thing I would say, um, I would meet at Roscoe's Coffee Bar. I think that's a good place to sit down, and get to know each other, right, talk. Right. Um, Got to plug myself. I go play some games at Retro Jake's Arcade. There you go. Got about sixty fun. arcade machines. That like yeah. A great night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Then maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe I do dinner first, then the coffee, but then I'd, I'd probably hit up. Uh, I'd probably hit up the cordial cork. Okay, the cordial cork is right. real good. Sounds like a chill night yep. here. Okay, all right, there you go. You think about moving here? Yeah. Perfect de- first date night for sure. <laughs> what is one business that is currently not in our community that you would like to either see open up here or come back? Man, this is going to be unpopular opinion. Okay. I'm a steak and shake guy. I love steak and shake. I'm a steak and shake guy. Man, and I'll tell you what, if they were to come back, I would not be mad about that. You know, I would not be mad about that whatsoever. The four dollar deal with the burger and fries, the garlic burger with fries. Now they now they have one in Newcastle. I hit up the one in Newcastle. Yeah. Now they've took it off. Like taking off a lot of menu items that I like. Yeah, so I think the four dollar deals are gone too. I think. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know about all that, but right. I can still find something there. Right. Could could you share a memorable moment from your involvement in the community? Wow. Um I'd say one thing um I've done last year. I was hoping to do this year, but I I just didn't I just didn't do it. But I I want I wanted to. Um is Christmas last year at both stores because we have another location in Connorsville. Yeah. Um, we did a uh, event to where we we gave free video games to kids, mm-hmm. you know, for Christmas, you know, and that that was big for me. You know, I've, it's hard it's hard work being in the bargain center and then saying, hey, let's work with the community and other local businesses. So that was my first thing I've really done. It was like, hey, I want to give back to the community and I want to give kids video games and um, Man, buy that. I- I've got somebody to connect you with. Good, we good. Then I'm gonna connect you with somebody. Good, and the kids can benefit from. Perfect. That, that, yeah, awesome. So speaking of that, so thinking about, um, you know, some things that you would like to do in the community. If you could give advice to somebody that wants to get involved in the community, what would you tell them? Wants to get involved in the community, or maybe even start their own business. What advice would you give them? Uh, take risks. Don't be afraid to take risks. Um, taking risks is for me is the biggest way you grow, you know, um, you fall down get right back up. You know, that's the biggest thing is I take a lot of risks. I get a lot of, a lot of them don't pay off. Yeah. You know, Yeah. but that one, that one pays off. Yeah. And it, it makes it all worth it. Man, you are so true. And like, even in my own life, you know, even, even, you know, switching to be a realtor at at 37 years old at that time, you know, that was a risk. Yep. A huge risk, not not having a check coming in, not knowing where your next payment, your pay is coming from. But, you know, just even investments and things like that. Like, I just remember always talking myself out of making taking that risk. And mm-hmm. once I make that shift where if something makes sense, I've ran the numbers, it looks good, it makes total sense, I'm going for it. Yeah. Because if not, we can, we can be our worst enemy talking ourselves out of, out of growth. So Yeah, just trust the process. That's yeah. the thing is you're not going to – a lot of times you're not going to get that dream overnight. You're going to have to put in work. You're going to have to do a lot of things that you probably don't want to do. Right. And you're, it, but you have to, you have to trust the process and you have to, 
you know, hunker down. You got to got to trust it. Have your plan. Follow on your plan. Yeah. There you go. So if you had an opportunity to collaborate with somebody in, in our community, put something together, nonprofit, project, give away games, mm-hmm. uh, who would you who would you collaborate with? You know, I've been in, since I've been in the depot. You know, I've had a lot of opportunity to talk to a lot of local businesses about collaborating, and we've even collaborated with like Lulu's Tacos. Okay, um, we're in talks collaborating with some other local businesses. Um, but I would say if I had to choose one local business to collaborate with, mm-hmm. in some aspect for the community, it'd probably be um, probably be the guys down the street, Blast from the past, a Retro Rush. Okay. Um, I think that'd be good for the community. Um, us coming together for that. I also feel like uh, Roscoe's. Okay. I like Roscoe's. I like what they're doing. Um, I think they have a really good vibe when you walk in there. Um, are are those they, your games in Roscoe's? No, those are, those are actually his games. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. All right. That's awesome. You heard it. There's opportunities to collaborate with Jacob here. Go. Awesome. All right, man. So tough. So tough. Put you on the spot here. Mm-hmm. You're a move. I consider you a mover and shaker in the community. If you could give our community a letter grade, A through F. Now, don't mess this up because I got asked this question, and I gave a 1 through 10, but a letter grade, A through F. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what what letter grade would you give our community? That's a really hard question. That's okay. a – you know, I would say this. I don't see anybody – out in our community, actively trying to destroy our community. Right. I see a lot of, this is a good question. Um, I see a lot of people that are trying to come together mm-hmm. and I could say, you know, from a lot of other, I've seen a lot of other things that are not like that. I would give it, I know this sounds cliche. I'd probably give it an A, okay. you know, I don't see anybody fighting against each other or, yeah. you know, anything like that. And I think, I think that speaks volumes. I think we come together. Well, I think we come together very well. That A, you know, I think Kevin, I think that's the first A on the show. Um, yeah, but that I was a, so. that was an excellent response yep. and a and a a great way to break that down. Um, I definitely can see that as well. And that's the thing; like, nothing's ever going to be perfect. Right. You know, nothing's ever going to be perfect. But right. I will say, we can make it dang near perfect. Right. You know, right. <laughs> so we can do our best. And I I see a lot of a lot of things around here that you know we are striving for that. Okay. So okay, where would you like to see us in five years? Um, personally, I'd like to see a lot more small businesses, um, you know, especially in the promenade, Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the promenade, you know, get, you know, a little bit more life, you know, I'd like to see, I think the depot is really on its way for that. Um, that was a big reason I moved there. Um, but, um, I would say the promenade, um, is where for me, where I would start for small businesses, Mm -hmm. I, th- I think now's a great time. I think it you is. got in a depot at a great time. Yep. And I think now's a great time to invest in downtown Richmond. I think Agreed. it's coming. I so, agree. All right. So are there any upcoming events, projects, or causes in the community that you're particularly interested in that you would like to highlight or bring attention to? Shout out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be on, not really off the, off the top of my head. Um, it, it kind of, it's kind of a catch. I don't want to say catch 22 is probably not the right word. Um, but it's one of those to where I'm so invested on what I'm doing. I'm not, I don't take as a lot of time to look around of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean, my answer would be, you know, myself, but I I don't want to plug myself like that. Um, but you know, I, I, I would say, you know, um, as long as we're doing good in the community and bringing good Mm -hmm. and, you know, bringing things that are positive, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of negative out there. And bringing things that are positive, I would say that's, you know, that's that's what I want to see around here. Okay, great response. Okay, one last question. So before we get to that question, just a quick reminder for you to quick click that like and subscribe button so we can keep bringing this content for your real estate needs. Think Diamond Class Care. One final question, Jacob. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone that you'd like to give a shout out to? Anyone in your business? Anyone that's helped you along the way? Yeah. Anyone in your family, friends, customers? Yeah. Um, wow. How much time we got, right? No. <laughs> as long as you need. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say, uh, first and foremost, my wife, you know, my wife, um, 
you know, she, she's been with me for almost the whole entire ride and she's pushed, she's pushed me, you know, to be, to be better. And, um, I would say without her retro Jake's would not be where it's at without, uh, Abby Payne, my wife. Um, I'm going to say my store manager, Anthony Gunther, um, he is fantastic. Um, fantastic. Um, I'm even going to give, you know, um, our competition a shout out, um, Blast from the past, Retro Rush. They have, uh, they they've pushed us to be better, mm-hmm. um, and I hope the feelings mutual. Um, but they pushed us to be better, and they've pushed um, all of us, you know, to just try to try to just be better than what we were yesterday, just strive better. So I got to give them a shout out. A lot of respect there. Awesome. Um, They're coming up on here on the show too. So, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I, w- I would just say, you know, another one's Richmond, you know, the Richmond community. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people out here. Um, there's a lot of people out here that are really, really loving what we're doing, and they're letting us know, and that's that's big for us, you know, because having having you guys come out and, you know, tell us, you know, what we're doing right and that you love it. Um, also tell us what we're doing wrong. You know, there's a way right. to do that, yeah. you know, but, yeah. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, we appreciate that because that makes us better. Um, so yeah, I would, I would definitely say, you know, our community as well on being able, you know, to let us know what we're doing and letting us know that we're doing a good job. That means a lot. Jacob Payne, Retro Drakes. What's your location, Jacob? They want to come check you out. For sure. It is 417 North 8th Street, Richmond, Indiana in the Depot District. We're right next to Blockhead Records. If you haven't been to Blockhead Records, go check it out. They're awesome. Um, right next to Blockhead Records. We're also right next to Rare Breed Fitness. Um, Yeah. Right there. You heard it. Jacob, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's been great. I look forward to continuing to watch you grow and be a staple down there in the depot. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.